Wish I was Halloween Town High right now. Ah, oh, can't see my viewfinder today. So fuck it, let's just hope that I don't look bad. Cool. Okay, that's loud. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. <coughs> I'm still a little bit sick, uh, so if I sound like Roz from Monsters Incorporated, that's why. I've spent the past five days uh, completely bedridden with what I think is strep throat. So that was fun. And in that time I didn't get to film, I didn't get to stream, I didn't get to do anything but hate my existence. So now that I'm feeling better, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about a thing, like I always do. Today's thing is Halloween Town High. Yes, I am aware that as of recording this video, Thanksgiving is like a week away, but the best time to celebrate Halloween Town is all the time, and also, I made a deal with the Woodland Witch that lives in the woods behind my house that I would cover this movie, and I don't want her to kill me. Three people will get that joke and everybody else will think I'm more unstable than I actually am. Halloween Town High is the third movie in the Halloween Town franchise. I covered the other two. I basically covered one every Halloween and I didn't get to talk about one before Halloween this year, so we're doing it now, yay! If nothing else, you can think about this video as coming to save your sanity from that one Michael Bublé song that your mom already has on repeat over and over again. His version of Santa Baby, but it's, a, it's called Santa Buddy because he calls Santa Buddy like he's too good to fuck Santa like the rest of us. <laughs> In the portal to save the entire world. Thank me very much. Yeah, so at the end of the last Halloween Town movie, the kids had successfully opened the portal from Halloween Town to the regular world, allowing them to go back and forth anytime, not just on Halloween night, creating world peace or something. I should be getting a, 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 ooh, a parade, but no, 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 I get a summons instead. Oh, is she gonna get, like, is she getting sent to wizard jail over this? That honestly is kind of funny. Is it time? Oh no, dear, trust me. You'll know when it's time. <laughs> it's time. Marnie, please, you have nothing to defend. We've asked you here to thank you. Really? Of course, you saved Halloween Town. Oh. For a second, I thought that was the corrupt mayor from the first movie. I was like, why is he still on the council? This is like political councils from real life. About your proposal to send a dozen Halloween Town students to high school in the human world. Council President Dalloway, I really must put several of my feet down. I like that that thing is actually spinning in the middle practically, like. Like, it's a little, like, merry-go-round for her to ride on. That must have been fun. Yes, the Knights of the Iron Dagger. Their mission in life was to destroy all things magical. People have changed. People are more tolerant now. It feels unlikely some days, but we have come a long way, sir. I mean, people still suck, because we're people, but, you know. What is it about strep throat that brings out the nihilism in me? I'm sorry. This is why we need this program, mm -hmm. to show you that the world is different now. You have until midnight on Halloween. Okay, so they want to do like a school exchange program. That's what everybody's mad about. We can't learn about each other's cultures. That would be anarchy. You bet on magic? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was just a figure of speech. Besides, we have nothing to worry about. There aren't any knights. I think there might be a couple of knights. Either that guy's a knight or he's like one of those mascots that stands on the corner and spins the sign and he just got stuck in his costume. Grasshopper flakes? Who eats honey flavored grasshopper flakes? I really only like the sugary grasshoppers. Why does reuniting the worlds have to involve me sharing a bathroom with an ogre and a gremlin named Bobby? Well, maybe they're very nice. Don't judge. Sorry. <laughs> the car alarm's going off. Chester has an armadillo? What Lucky. Is what is she thinking? She can't come to school dressed like that. Oh, I wouldn't worry. If she brings the flying school bus, people won't even notice what she's wearing. Oh my god, that gave me a headcanon about Miss Frizzle being from Halloween Town. Has anyone tried to start the cracked theory that Marnie is Miss Frizzle? Because if not, I'd like to start that right now. Ew. Grandma? I oh love the god, grandma. Was, she's so cute. I, mean, I didn't even know you could drive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, oh, I can't. 
Oh, no, I asked two leprechauns that I know to help work the petals for me. I mean, my leprechauns quit years ago, so at least she's got that going for her. All right, so Grandma pulls up to school with all of these people in her tiny little orange clown car. This is Marnie. Hi, Marnie. And she'll be your student advisor while you're in Hi. this world. If anybody asks where you're from, where are we from again? Canada. Wouldn't it be funny if Canada was just secretly Halloween town? Oh, the bag has legs. I didn't know the bag had legs. That's concerning. The students and I are all looking forward to soaking up your culture and taking part in your customs. You're all from Canada, right? Yeah, I'm sure all the Canadians love to partake in our rich American culture, right guys? Pay somebody like a hundred dollars for a band-aid and then eat a cheeseburger and watch one of the various Real Housewives shows. You, you'll get the whole vibe. My bird! Oh, it's gone! <laughs> Did the bag eat the bird? The bag ate the bird. The bag ate the bird? Oh my god. If you have any problems, just uh, find me or Dylan, okay? I'm sorry, but Dylan is jumping off this welcome wagon. Dylan's like, I don't care if you get lost. And lose the tail, okay? What are you, some oh. power mad hall monitor? Marty, what if he was just a furry, Marty? Then that would have been horrible. You can't just go around pulling people's tails without asking. Let's open our books to chapter one. Oh, and Grandma Aggie's teaching? I love that. <laughs> Oh God, Jesus, God, okay. I didn't see that one coming. That scared the shit out of me. <gasps> the one ambient, wait a second. The one student is just like, what the fuck? Who can tell me why these elements reacted the way they did? Why you got smoke and not a parrot? Can you imagine you just like cram for a test and go in and your science teacher is just like, can you tell me why this explosion created a, a puff of smoke and not a parrot? You'd be like... Oh, is this magic high school? Oh, geez. It's like that one episode of uh, Doctor Who. Well, there's more than one episode, but you know, the, the one from the ninth Doctor era with all the politicians that take their skin off. How much longer do I have to wear this stupid human suit? You guys have to remember that to most humans, you you don't exist. You're so Marty's like, I'm gonna end bigotry in my world by making people pretend to be another species. I really wish you could have been there. Today was like the greatest day of my whole life. Wow, the pacing in this one is fast. Someday I won't feel like I'm leading separate lives, you know, that I'm like two different people. Yeah, both of them equally annoying. <laughs> you know, I hated Dylan the first time I saw him. I love Dylan now. He's been through so much. Do you have any uh, unicorn milk? It helps my digestion. I think there's some in the back of the fridge. You can milk unicorns? Who the fuck is that guy? Have there been any signs of danger? No, no, none whatsoever. Grandma Aggie has a Discord call. You have nothing to worry about because there aren't any knights. Well, how do we know they're really gone? Oh, that's what's his name from High School Musical and he was unswitched at birth. Lucas Gabriel, there you go. I'm sorry I forgot your name for a second there, Lucas. I know you watch every one of these videos. Hey. So Marty's trying to talk to cute boy, but also uh, Grandma Aggie is trying to get her attention. Sometime. Fine. I... <laughs> she excuse me. It's like, forget about the cute boy. Look at me. Did you not see the giggling? The twisting of the hair? Marty forgot who she is for a second. She doesn't get a moment of peace. She's a wizard child. It's an iron dagger. What do you know about that boy you were talking to? They know we're here. Oh, no, no, there's no way he has anything to do with this. I can't believe you'd even say that. I mean, the last time she oh, no, no, no liked a boy, it was kind of disastrous. So I, I see the concern. By the way, you know the actors that play Marty and, um, you know, Lil' Calabar Jr. in the second movie? They're engaged for real nowadays. It's kind of adorable. What happened yesterday in class? Oh, is this about the parrot? Parrot? What parrot? I'm talking about the llama. Llama? The bag ate a llama too? We need to, we need to get rid of that bag. Welcome to history. 
Though modern fiction might be a more apt title. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Aggie is being based as hell. Like, yeah, we teach you guys pretty much fiction here in history class. Remind me, are they still telling you guys that the pilgrims didn't suck? So Aggie's on her second what subject. No, I don't care what it says. Columbus did not discover America. <laughs> No, she's right about that one. We're supposed to be seeing her screw up a second subject, but she's completely correct. Columbus was a little bitch. Tomorrow, somebody remind me to tell you a funny story about Da Vinci. Oh, there was a good reason the Mona Lisa was smiling. Did... Grandma Aggie fucked Da Vinci? What am I supposed to take away from that? Hi. Am I a fool to save you a place? No. Oh, how cute. I hope this boyfriend doesn't turn out to be evil. Can I just say the little pink troll girl has such a vibe going on for her? I would love to cosplay as her. It would be so specific and like exactly two people would know who I'm supposed to be. How about trying for the wrestling team? Huh? I don't like wrestling. Um, well then what do you like? I like stamps. Oh. Aw, give Chester some stamps. You know, I always wanted to be in a play. Ha, <laughs> he wants to be in a play. He's gonna bop to the top. I know, um, all the clubs are doing a booth for the Halloween carnival. We should do a booth too. Maybe a haunted house. Ooh. Ooh, I love haunted houses. We had a haunted barn near my house back when I lived out in the middle of nowhere. And it was actually a pretty intense haunted house, which always surprised me because we were like out in the middle of like conservative America. You know, the part of town where people are like, oh, we don't say Halloween, we have Harvest Festival. That part of town? Yeah, they kicked ass with their haunted house. How air you come to know it, answer me. Oh, Shakespeare offered me a part in the original production. What part did Aggie play though? Everybody tell me in the comments, who do you think Aggie was in the original Shakespeare run? Oh, she gave the sandwich to the bag. That's disturbing. Oh, no. You thought this was the first date. Oh, see, when you said Saturday, I thought you meant Saturday night. You didn't specify the time? Somewhere between my anxiety disorder and my ADHD, I make sure that we verify the time when I'm doing something with somebody like 16 different ways. Wait, where do they all go? They're in the car. Why does none of this surprise me? Yeah, you're fine. Just smile and wave and walk away briskly. Wow, the pace on this movie was so fast a second ago and now it's just like slowed down to the point where... Oh, never mind. I was about to say there's no plot. There's somewhat of a plot. There is a man with an ominous ring. Surely that will pay off plot-wise somehow. I haven't said one intelligent thing since I met the guy. Oh my god, I love that scarf. What do you call those that type of scarf that she's wearing? I used to wear the hell out of one back in the early 2000s and I thought it was just me, but it was not. They're like the worst kind of scarves because they are not warm at all. They were a thing for a hot second. It looks like my Uncle Ernie. Aren't most werewolves vegetarian? Man, don't you just hate Halloween? Such a freak show. Um, you're the freak. Yeah, hating Halloween is weird as hell, dude. You probably think that all vampires want to do is just suck people's blood. Like they don't have jobs and families. I'm warning you. Why don't they make a mask out of your face? Ooh, burn. Ooh, Lucas Gabriel got yeeted. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, what is that? Looks like the curse that got kept everyone frozen in time in Once Upon a Time. Oh no, so now they're all devoid of their human disguises. You're a troll! Dylan, you knew they were all exchange students, didn't you? Why are you surprised? Why are you judging her? You're a big pink furry troll! So what? Dylan! The knights, they, they tried... Oh, and Lucas Gabriel just looks like a regular person, I guess. Kind of boring. The Halloween Town Council is here. They're waiting for you upstairs in... Okay, so the Halloween Town Council is here and semi abducts Marnie for a second time. Would, would now be a good time to beg for mercy? No. It's always a good time to beg for mercy, I guess. No, 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 no. Begging for mercy is exactly what she should be doing. Oh, really? I thought we were begging for mercy at three. I don't have a lot. I like that they clearly blocked out the, the, the thought that this guy was gonna have six arms. Like, that was this character's thing. I intend to use every ounce 
ounce of my power and every second of time to prove to you that you are wrong about humans. Yeah, you tell him, Marty. Meeting adjourned. I don't know why they couldn't just yoink her back in, but they didn't, so that's good. Oh, look at the mom using her magic. Good for her. Don't you just love marshmallow spiders? Ugh, that's somehow horrifying and charming all at the same time. Also, I'm also drinking hot chocolate. I feel so included. You guys would have had the good enough sense to go home. Yeah, I tried, but my dad... Oh no, I feel like we tried to go home, but our parents won't talk to us. Aggie! You are nothing but a little flirt, you know that? I know. I love that there are just two huge crowds of teenagers behind both coverages of the main characters, and then clearly what is just a wide open space in the middle. Looks like they're all charging into battle. For Narnia! I said I was sorry, like... 12 the ninth power times? Dylan, you really <laughs> fucked up. Well, wait, then you must think I'm... One of the ugliest creatures I've ever laid my eyes on, but I thought you were sweet and nice. Ooh, and nice. ouch. <laughs> yeah, imagine you're dating somebody, and then they see you for who you really are, and they go, ugh. Not cool, Dylan. Imagine if Belle reacted like that to the Beast. Imagine if Belle acted the way that everybody else that I've ever talked to about that movie acted when they saw Beast turn into a human person and went, ugh. Come on, guys, he looks fine either way. It's the whole point of the movie. If we were dealing with somebody from Halloween Town, they wouldn't have had to smash their way in. So maybe we really are dealing with somebody from this world. Or just a really incompetent burglar from Halloween Town. Okay, so the girls are in here by themselves and the knight's armor is coming to life. That's not good. Grandma. Oh, Grandma Aggie's teaching Jim. I'm guessing the only reason they even know we're here is because you can't go two seconds without turning someone into a, a, a lamppost. Linda. Who did she turn into a lamppost? Was it a child? Oh my God. Hey, calm down, it's just me. Grabs her forcefully and pulls her inside. Hey, calm down. You're really acting crazy right now. I can't. And what the heck's in that mysterious locker of yours? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me we found a character in a movie that sees things that happen right in front of them? You're telling me we found a person that has peripheral vision? Peripheral vision doesn't exist on TV. We all know that. This girl's outfit is really giving off pirate vibes. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just, doesn't it? Like the, the little hat cinched at the side and the striped shirt. Hello? Is anybody here? Kind of like she's dizzy bounding as Mr. Smee. You're all going home. What? All right, so Marty's ready to send everybody home because this girl went missing. Wait, so that means that somebody from Halloween Town was definitely responsible. Or it could just mean that it's one of us. I could. Dylan's like, I don't trust anybody here. We definitely have to stick together. Oh, Grandma, I love you. Oh, Grandma Aggie and Marty make up. It's cute. Our first priority has to be to find Cassie. If there's any of her left to find. I like the mom's like, okay, so our most important thing is finding the missing girl, right guys? And Dylan's like, she might be dead, I don't know. Hey, crypto <laughs> So far this movie has the least like Halloweeniness out of the ones that we've seen, you know? Oh, he brought me flowers. Oh mom, how could you? I am so sorry. Like the other two movies were all like fun set deck and talking pumpkins and skeleton people and all this stuff and this is just like a lot of inside a high school. What are you doing in there? What do you mean what am I doing here? Somebody put me in here. Now get me out. Whoa, she's stuck in the mirror like the genie in Once Upon a Time. Is that two Once Upon a Time references I've made in one video? I really should just start talking about Once Upon a Time, huh? Everything all right? All right, so knowing that his friend is trapped, he runs off into the night. What happened? Oh, does she have her boyfriend on the back of the broom? Oh, yeah, yeah, she found her boyfriend passed out. Did I mention that before? I think I forgot to mention that before. Cody, I'm a witch. Marty. Does he not know that he's flying? There it is. You really are a which explains all the stuff at school and why you're always disappearing. Wait, he said that like everybody's been talking about her being a witch this whole time. Is that just like an open secret? Did he like get to school on the first day and they're like, hey, you know, Marty's a witch, right? And he's like, ha, and they're like, no, really. And he's like, no. And then this happened? Where are you from? Hey, 
We have a lot of time for questions. He's taking the information in very well. The little pitter-patter of his feet as he's running. Where's my dad? He isn't here yet. Oh, the principal is the guy with the ring. Huh. Did you do this to Cassie? What? No hug for your old man. Oh, and that's his dad. Okay. He's secretly evil. I got it. Dad, how could you? She's my friend. You didn't seem too worried about your friends when you stirred up that trouble at the mall. Okay, so the kid is like a like a conflicted anti-hero with evil parents. He's like the Draco Malfoy of this world. The Cromwells will stop you. No. Not without their magic, they won't. Okay, so they want to You're steal right. the Whoever Cromwell the magic. Who doesn't, I guess. I love that the mom is just not ashamed of her magic now. Wish me luck finding Cassie. Very cute. So he lost an ear. It's not like it won't grow back. <laughs> Kid lost an ear? Agatha! Yeah, as somebody who's done a lot of extra work in high schools, let me be the first one to say, high schools are just not a visually appealing place to shoot. This is what I've come to understand. Unless you're like one of those like fancy old money schools that you need to be a descendant of a Kardashian to get into. You know, the ones that look like they're from old-timey movies. Other than that, all high schools look the same and they're all boring as hell. Although when I was a kid and they premiered Legally Blondes, the the spiritual successor to Legally Blonde on Disney Channel, I for sure wanted to go to a school like that. That school was badass. What? The walls keep dissolving. I hate it when that happens. Where did that bag likes the boyfriend very much or it just has a major attitude problem or both i feel like such a fool it is a night you're not a fool she's like it's okay grandma aggie i know what it's like to have a crush on the bad boys <laughs> happens to the best of us just want to say that i expected more of you yeah you tell him aggie so she's like hey you're trying to resurrect an old order that stood for bigotry and wizard racism, and we're not down with that here. You know who I'm missing? Luke. What the hell did they do with Luke, my boy? Oh god, it's a snake. I hate snakes. He deserves it, though. All right, we've got about 15 minutes left on this movie, and I'm finally seeing a little bit of Halloween aesthetic. The ghost didn't even go boo. Uh, no. Boo? How many ghosts do you know that say boo? All of the- well, how many ghosts have you ever heard actually say boo? Maybe that is a bit of a common misconception. Can we at least have mealy worms crawling out of them or something? Oh, my mom makes the best oatmeal mealy worm cookies. Ugh, gross. Imagine putting oatmeal in cookies. Alright, so the bad guy shows up and is like, huh, there's not enough chaos, gross, and then- Seems to me this haunted house could use a little excitement. Brings all the set deck to life? What's going on? Okay. Oh, those poor extras. Hey guys, just stumble around into everything and each other. It'll look great on camera. Well, that's terrifying. The fact that the special effects are bad make it even more uncanny. I don't like it. It reminds me of the first time people started seeing like Slender Man screenshots online and like started freaking out. <laughs> he just fell into the pumpkin. It's kind of funny. He was so calm about it too. Did you see that? Did you see what they did? All right, so after the dust is starts to settle from this very bizarre random fight. Everybody starts blaming the Cromwells because the principal is evil. And he's like, hey, the Cromwells did it. Witches and monsters and freaks. I'm so lost. I barely understand what's going on. I think they barely understand what's going on. You are responsible for all of this. I can't take all the Ethan? Barney, 
The fact that Ethan's reveal as an evil bad guy happens when he's wearing, like, cowboy chaps and boots. Very funny. I don't know why that's funny. I think it has something to do with the actual cow print that's on his clothes, right? He's like, howdy there, little lady. I'm an evil cowboy now. Yeehaw. No. I'm staying. Oh! But he stands up to his dad pretty quickly. There's very little conflict that he has to go through. And this is goodbye to all of you. And then his dad just fucks off, I guess. With my newfound power, I can make sure that it never will again. Oh, he stole their powers. That's not good. Oh, hello. I'm an ogre. Uh, with a little bit of forest giant on my mother's side. All right, so one by one, they all take their human masks off and are like, Daha! We're not humans! I like how our cowboy friend over here looks mildly bemused. I'm just going through an awkward stage. The, this, is, this is all there is. Oh, Dylan. Been there, buddy. I feel like I am there. I feel like I still kind of look like I feel, which isn't great. This never really fit. Oh, and then the evil principal decides not to be evil anymore. That's good. No trust issues to be found here. And the bad guy's back. They didn't have to go looking for him. Cassie, Gwen rescued me. It took some time, but I finally found the right witch's glass. And they just kind of take their magic back like it's nothing. It kind of feels like they wanted to write a story for this movie and then realized they didn't have the budget for more than like one set. So they were like, what if we just didn't? This movie is a bottle episode. Yay. I was doing this for the good of Halloween Town. I, you see, some humans are apparently much more accepting than you led us to believe. You're telling me you couldn't have looked in on the humans yourselves? Aren't you like the big powerful councilman? What have you been doing up there? They were all relying on this one guy to report back to them about what humans are like? Let me out of here. I'm really sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry I freaked out. No, I I'm sorry. It's just too gross. Thank goodness. And then they go to kiss and she's like, nah, man, I think you're ugly. And he's like, cool. I think you're ugly too. And then they just become besties. So happy ending, I guess. I mean, really, who ever heard of field hockey without flying monkeys? Oh, uh, flying monkeys would make that more fun. Oh, and Maddie's taking her boyfriend for a spin around the neighborhood. And that's the end. This feels more like the plot of like a short that they would release to take place somewhere in the franchise, not like a full length movie, right? It felt very fast paced in places, but also very lacking in plot and just lacking in Halloween atmosphere, you know? Can't wait to tell that little witch that her favorite Halloween Town movie is kind of mid at best. But uh, yeah, that is the third Halloween Town movie after this. I only have one more left to do, and then we'll be able to say that we've talked about all of them on this channel. This is also the last one that features Kimberly J. Brown as Marnie, which is like nothing against the girl that plays her in the fourth one, but like, man, you can't replace Marnie. What are you thinking? Disney, you can't replace Marnie. I've never understood why casting directors think that they can get away with just replacing the actors that portray fan favorite characters like they're goldfish and we're not gonna put it together. But let me know what you guys think of this movie in the comments below. If you haven't already, I know some people like to uh, leave the comments as they're watching. I see you. I do the exact same thing. You're my people. But I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye. Oh, I definitely sound sick. I feel mostly fine right now. I'm just glad to be filming again, but like, whew. I sound like, you know in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer where Rudolph's dad is like, ma, I'm ashamed of you the way that you are, son, and puts that big rubber fake nose on him and then he can't talk? I sound like that.